Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss random forest algorithm in machine learning with a simple example. Random forest is a commonly used machine learning algorithm. It is also known as ensemble learning method in machine learning. In this case, we will draw multiple number of decision trees and the result of multiple decision trees are merged so that we will get the more accurate predictions or the results. In traditional decision tree learning algorithm, given a data set a single tree is drawn and whenever we get a new example the new example is classified with the help of single decision tree but when it comes to random forest we will draw multiple number of trees and the new example is given as an input to the, each of those particular decision trees in random forest and then uh, we will make the better prediction based on the results of each of those particular decision trees in the random forest random forest became uh, popular because of its easy to use as well as flexibility in handling both classification as well as the regression problems. I have discussed what is classification and regression problems. The link for those particular videos is given in the description below. Now we will try to discuss uh, the different steps in random forest algorithm. The first step is to build the random forest. So let us assume that we have been given n number of examples. So let us say that we have been given 100 examples and we want to draw let us say that 10 uh, decision trees in a random forest so this is the number of decision trees this is the total number of examples given to us now what we do over here is we will select n number of examples let us say that uh, we want to select 30 examples for each of those uh, decision trees so what we do here is first we will select 30 examples out of 100 so that will become you can say that n1 uh, that will be the first training example for the first decision tree Next what we do is we will put this particular 30 examples again back into this particular total number of training examples. Out of 100 again we will select one more set uh, randomly that is 30 examples. Once you select one more set we will put those examples again back into this uh, training set and then we will select another 30 examples and so on 10 times or 10 sets we will select here. So whenever we select uh, uh, some examples or a subset of examples randomly, we will put them back into the training set over here. So once you do this part, I think the second step is to select the input variables. Let us assume that we have some uh, 10 input variables. While building each of those particular uh, decision trees in the random forest, we need to select subset of these particular 10 uh, variables. Let us say that uh, I will select five variables. So what we do is in the first step we will select five variables randomly and then we will put it back and then again we will select five variables and so on for each of those particular 10 different decision trees we will select five uh, features over here because we are putting it again back over here we will get a mixture of all those particular variables in this case. So once you get the training set for all 10 decision trees and the feature uh, features or you can say that the input variables next what we do is we will build the decision tree using the decision tree algorithm so once you build the decision trees of random forest whenever we get a new data point we give that new data point as an input to that particular uh, random forest that is uh, each decision tree in the random forest so in this case we have 10 number of decision trees in the random forest each of those particular 10 decision trees will make 10 different uh, predictions over here now the question is how to assign the uh, label to this particular new data point so what we do over here is if it is a classification kind of problem we will take majority of that particular 10 decision trees the one which is having maximum votes that will be selected as a label for this particular new example if it is a regression kind of problem then we will take the average of uh, 10 decision trees predictions that will be considered as the final uh, uh, case over here this is the diagrammatic uh, representation of uh, random forest algorithm this is the training set the training set is divided into multiple number of uh, training datas let us say that training data 1 training data 2 training data n over here with the help of this particular training data we will uh, train the decision trees that is nothing but we will build the decision trees and then uh, we will give the new example to these decision trees each of these particular decision trees will make the predictions and then what we do here is we will take the majority for classification problems if it is a regression we will consider the average of those particular probabilities and then we will make the final prediction over here so this is how uh, the random forest algorithm works now coming back to an example of uh, random forest algorithm let us assume that we want to classify the fruits over here there were a lot of fruits are there we want to classify those particular fruits so what we do initially is 
we will divide this particular fruits into a different uh, training uh, datas let us say that there were 100 fruits are given to us we will divide those particular thing into uh, let us say that 30 30 30 so using those particular three uh, data points what we do is we will uh, build the decision trees let us say that this is the first decision tree second decision tree and third decision tree now once you build this particular decision tree we will give the new example as an input to these particular decision trees so that uh, new example will be classified by this first tree as apple in this case second one as apple again the third one is classified as banana in this case now because it's a classification problem we need to take the majority voting here in this case the apple is uh, coming two times and banana one time hence the new example will be classified as apple because apple is having a majority in this case now this is how uh, we can classify the new example into one of the classes using random forest algorithm now coming back to the strengths of a random forest algorithm it takes a less uh, training time as compared to other algorithms actually when you compare uh, the training time of a random forest algorithm with other ensemble learning techniques like uh, uh, boosting algorithm it is uh, uh, comparatively less over here as well as it is comparatively less compared to other uh, traditional machine learning algorithms like SVM and so on it predicts uh, output with high accuracy uh, even for the last data set it works efficiently that's a very interesting uh, strength of a random forest algorithm it can also maintain the accuracy when we have a large uh, portion of the data where the missing data is there or outliers are there or some uh, noisy data is there still the random forest algorithm gives a better accuracy over here coming back to the last part of uh, this discussion that is uh, the weaknesses of uh, random forest algorithm the first weakness of random forest algorithm is uh, whenever we have a classification problem the random forest algorithm works perfectly fine there will not be any issues but when you have a regression kind of problem the regression kind of problem actually gives you the numerical uh, data as a result in this case uh, but uh, uh, this will not work uh, beyond the training data for example your training data contains uh, the numerical column or the target column in the range of 1 to 100 it will work only for 1 to 100 if you uh, have a new data point which is uh, beyond 100 or be, uh, below 1 it will not work over there that is the one uh, disadvantage or the weakness of uh, random forest algorithm uh, sometimes let us say that uh, the data containing noisy data there is a possibility it is not always but there is a possibility that uh, the random forest may go into overfitting that's a one more issue uh, when we build a random forest algorithm uh, because we are going to build multiple number of decision trees uh, it will take a lot of uh, space on what you can say that memory and so on uh, if you build only one decision tree the size of that particular model will be less but uh, because we are building multiple number of uh, decision trees in random forest it will take hundreds of uh, megabytes of memory uh, and there is a possibility that it will become slow at the time of uh, testing or deployment of that particular model in this particular case the last uh, weakness of a random forest algorithm is uh, it's a black box kind of a thing uh, what is actually happening within that particular algorithm is very difficult to uh, analyze uh, and which particular uh, decision tree has made a uh, what kind of decision whether it is correct or wrong that particular kind of questions were not been answered by this particular random forest algorithm so these are some of the weaknesses of a random forest algorithm in this video i have discussed what is random forest algorithm what are the different steps followed in random forest algorithm and what are the strengths and weaknesses of random forest algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching